In this video, uh, we are going to make use of the MS Excel to number one, identify or generate terms of an arithmetic sequence. Two, find the sum of the n terms of an arithmetic sequence. And the third one is to insert arithmetic means in an arithmetic sequence. Let's take for example the first scenario. Find the 12 terms of an arithmetic sequence given that the first term is negative 24 and the common difference is 5. So let's take this for example. So I will copy this to one of our Right. So again, we are asked to find the 12 terms of an arithmetic sequence given that the first term is negative 24 and the common difference is 5. Alright. So, let's take this one. We know that um, in an Excel, we have, of course, several uh, columns and several or many rows. It is composed of rows and columns arranged. Alright, so what I have here is um, for my A3, I have the first term. Okay, I will drag this down so that all the succeeding terms will just follow. Okay, so again, what did I do? I just wrote in here the first term and then uh, taking the cursor down will give me yeah, n terms, right? So I have your second, third, until the 14th term. But since we're asked only of the 12 terms, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so uh, with our given, it says here that the first term is negative 24, right? So negative 24 is the first term. Now, the common difference is 5. What shall I do with the first term to get the second term? What I will do is to add 5. So, I have now the first term added with 5. So, that gives me 19. Is that right? Again, what did I do? The first term, so I will write here equal. Equal what? The first term added with 5 which is the common difference so now that gives me negative 19 what i'm expecting of the third term is negative 19 plus 5 which actually is equal to negative 14 that's right but what we did on the first column is also applicable in the second column we're now at column b Right? So, 19 plus 5 will give me negative 14. Or negative 19 plus 5 is negative 14. Added with 5 again, and so on and so forth. So, that will give me the following terms. So, meaning, the first term is negative 24, second term is 19, and so on and so forth, until the 12th term, which is 31. Are you still following? Okay. So, am I able to find the 12 terms already of an arithmetic sequence? Yes. So, we have the first 12 terms which are, I will just highlight this one. So, alright. So, the first term is negative 24, negative 19 as the second and so on and so forth and the 12th term now the 12th term is positive 31 in the previous video we are done finding the 12 terms of an arithmetic sequence given that the first term is negative 24 and the common difference is 5 for our second uh, task we are asked to find the sum of the first five terms 10 terms and 12 terms of the arithmetic sequence given. So, uh, since we are looking first for the sum of the 
first five terms. So I have here S5. Or the sum of the first five terms. I have now the equation or the formula equal. What do we need to add? The first term. Okay, so I will use the... Um, I will use the function sum because I will just get the sum of those terms. So again, from which term? From the first term down to the fifth term, right? So the first term is at B5, while the last term, which is the fifth term, is at B9. So I will close this uh, equation. So again, the function is sum of what? B2 down to B9. Alright? And I will add this. Alright? So the sum of these five terms is equal to negative 70. Alright? Are you following? Negative 70. Now, I'm done with the first five terms. I will move to the sum of the first ten terms. So, again, I will be using this. Control C, Control V, as in victory. But this will be replaced with 10. So meaning I'm after with the sum of the 10 terms. So again, I will use the function sum. So that is equal sum of what? The first term using your cursor or arrow keys. And then press the shift until you go down to 10th term. Right? So... Pressing the enter will give you negative 15. Right? Okay. And lastly, we are asked to find the sum of the 12 terms. All those 12 terms. So I have now. 